Sup nerds, sup night priest, sup uchao, and welcome to uh the Planet Zoo Beta. Okay, man, that was fucking adorable. <laughs> Planet Bex. <laughs> So yeah, a uh, new zoo game! Holy shit! A successor to Zoo Tycoon 2, which is amazing! Ah! I'm excited! Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Hey, shush! Stop looking at, at that. That's that's my name on like every platform but Twitch and YouTube. I hope you guys know that. Um, this is the beta, so it doesn't have all the features. It does have... It doesn't have all the animals either, but it does have, uh, one campaign mission and you can play that mission continuously after you do the main like once you finish the mission you can keep that zoo and keep using that zoo as your own like play save additionally they've also unlocked one map of the franchise mode which is basically build your own zoo with money and challenges and the animal trade and all that apparently it's a bit buggy, but we're going to play as much as we can without it exploding. It's okay, I'm in beta too. <laughs> uh, is beta like when you're a toddler? Like, how would that go into human translations there? Uh, yo. Yeah, I'm excited. I really am. This is like my type of game I have going on while I work on real shit. I know that sounds bad, but I usually have, like, a zoo game going in the background while I work on stuff, and then I come back and I'm like, Oh, look! My animals gave birth! How exciting! Or I come back and it's like, oh shit, everything caught fire and I've lost. That kind of thing. I love that. And so, I'm really excited for this game. A, a modern zoo game for this generation that ain't, you know, just looking at animals doing pretty shit. So about 15 years before the sequel to Zoo Tycoon 2. Okay, to be fair, there was Zoo Tycoon 3, but it sucked ass in terms of gameplay. It looked pretty, but the animal selection was like 90% clones, and uh, the gameplay was meh. From what I've seen, I have only think there's only like one animal clone in the Planet Zoo roster, and that's between the Himalayan brown bear and the grizzly bear. That's the only clones I know of so far, so. But I've heard good- I'm excited! I've been waiting all fucking day. Like, I cannot tell you guys how much I wanted to turn this on and, um, just play it. I should actually play it now, though. <laughs> I'm just- ah, gushing. Thank you for joining us. We're just a few small steps away from experiencing the world of Planet Zoo. See, there's a planet, and you have a zoo. Um... First, we'll create an avatar of yourself to represent your amazing creations amongst the Planet Zoo community. Make sure to create someone your friends will recognize. Okay. That's not what I look like. We're gonna start there. Uh... Sure, let's do this. Now, let's make a dude. Aw, oh, yeah. Yes. Perfect. Uh... Yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> there we go. Oh, perfect. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if this carries on or not, so I'm actually going to be serious for after for a second, but if if it doesn't carry on to like the normal base game, I would totally keep this. There we go. Uh pants. Uh... 
<laughs> that wild dog head is surprisingly detailed. <laughs> oh, I like how there's like green around the eyes. <laughs> uh, I do have glasses. None of these are my glasses. <laughs> uh, by the way, this character looks nothing like me. Like, their selections don't really matter because it's never been accurate. <laughs> Even a even a coaster as uh, a uh, coaster planet or planet coaster, it just looked nothing right. Um. Hmm. Oh, his face. The heck is with your mouth? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, it looks like a, ma a mannequin anatomy on these people. I know, right? I think my planet coaster is just like a teenager with a ponytail, because I just gave up trying to look like me. If you hear banging, that's my cat trying to get in my door. And she succeeded! One second, I'll be back. Sorry about that. You know how cats are. They don't understand what streaming is. <laughs> um, same people that are working on Planet Zoo, of course. Oh, yeah, from Coast Planet Coaster, of course. Hitting the powder donuts a little too much. Kind of lurk while doing things. Uh, have fun with the lurk. Thank you for lurking and coming by. Cat in hacker voice. I'm in. Okay. Um, with the foundation of my house uh, being... Like, 18, I think, years old? Uh... The... Okay, sure. Shit, <laughs> woo! Um... Oh, uh... The, um... My... Door frame? Is busted? Because of the bad foundation? So... You just push my door open. You can't close it all the way. It will pop right back out of place if you close it all the way. So you close it as much as you can, and then my cat found out that if she throws her entire body against my door, and it sounds loud as fuck, it sounds like someone's trying to break in, she can open my door. And this is a tiny, tiny cat. <laughs> like, I can keep it closed well enough to stream and all that, but like I said, my cat can get in now. This looks around Texas like, uh... And right here. Sure. Yeah, it looks nothing like me. Just keep the hyena hat on. Or not hyena, um... Painted dog. I have this owl mug! If you go to my Discord, I took a picture of it earlier today. I have this exact owl mug, except the handle is on the right side and not on the back. It literally is the same owl. It's even blue and shit. Alright, so we're gonna do scenario first. Yep, there's one unlocked. <gasps> Lion! The Goodwin House. Safe- uh, Safely home school- what? Stately! That's the word. Stately. I cannot read. Good night. Eh. Renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin House has since be uh, become one of the most respected zoos in the country. Mo uh, rec blah, blah, blah. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, 
The work hasn't quite been completed, which is where you come in. I smell corruption. Okay, I'm loving this music. Anyway, um... Can you guys hear me alright, by the way? I forgot to ask. How's my sound? Ole! How do be all? Uh, we do be doing, uh, the campaign mode. Hey, Pokey! Hairball has been placed. Beginning extraction. <laughs> yeah, seems good. Sound good to me. <laughs> Airball has been placed. Beginning extraction. Water paths can help reduce crowd congestion. No shit. Build slopes and elevated walkways by dragging the mouse up and down when laying paths. Huh. Do -do -do. Boop, boop, boop. Now, there is a greater than 0% chance that this game will explode. Just so you guys know. And it won't be my fault. It'll be like the games. Because it is beta and there has been... Reports of crashing. Reports of glitching. Reports of the marketplace not a connecting. Thank you for the host, the invisible name. Thanks, Why is that not loading in? Ooh. Fancy. You speak English? Good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist you call me Bruce. The only <gasps> person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Or even better, one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> House on fire doesn't mean what you think it means. Face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands on. I love her accent. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Do we know how long they intend to do public beta for? It will be for two weeks, ending on, I believe, October 8th? So we will have two weeks to be playing this until it, uh, is temporarily no longer available, and then full release will be on November 5th. So, it's, uh, it's not that long of a playtime, but it's also not that long of a wait afterwards, so. <laughs> Flying around, woo! a stately mana. You got dodos and, and lions. Does that mean we'll get dodos eventually in like some expansion? I love this lion's face. He's like, ah, yeah. See here. Select. And camera. Rotate camera. Here we go. Uh, boop. Rotate camera. Raise camera, lower camera, undo is critical Z, and then redo is critical Y. So very basic, very universal controls. Got it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to. Whoops. 
Oh, here. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, <gasps> can hibernate for up Look to how cute. a year? <laughs> yeah, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> One of the big things I'm on about the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. One of the big things I'm on about is genetic diversity. So I'm gonna be comparing the animals to each other a lot. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. They get like ticking in the fur and stuff, I love it. Let's hop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Oh, he's so handsome! Mm-hmm, interesting. Two weeks for people to break it hard, then take do a mad dash to unbreak it. Um, I, I, while there has been a lot of glitch, uh, reports, I think it's more of a, uh, marketing ploy rather than a genuine, let's test out the game thing. That's not a slam. I think both are viable in their own ways. Um, but I think it's definitely in a state of, this is probably gonna be close to how it's gonna be on release. I assume this is a boy because he's so bigger than the other one, but I get out of here. Cinematic. Beautiful. Uh yes. Oh by the way, because it's a loose mouse game, I can like accidentally go back to my monitor and select OBS. So if something jitters a little and it's not the game, it's probably me accidentally clicking off. Oh look at him so cute. His name is Zachary. He's a grizzly bear. He's 8.5 years old and he is adorable. And as I said earlier, I'm really big on the genetic diversity in this game. They've advertised. And I love that immediately they're like, we got a lighter color bear right the fuck here. Assume she's female. Camera, why? Assume she's female. Oh, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so sorry if you see me, like, just staring at the animals for, like, 20 minutes. That is definitely me uh, comparing them and geeking out over them, because... Holy shit, like, look at this game, guys! This is a modern zoo game! We've waited so fucking long for a modern zoo game that lets us do this shit! Anyway, um... Uh, animal camera controls, cool. These are all quick Good on that. Uh, locate grizzly bear, locate the West African lion exhibit. Here we go. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most <gasps> social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty bare. Oh my Leo god, Leo she's beautiful! Lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. <gasps> Kitty! No! How about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to our warthog habitat and see what needs doing there. Look at her, she's so cute! Okay, come on, guys. Come on. How do you... Ah. Ah. She's just a little Rory. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm just exploding with joy right now. Because this is exactly the game I've been wanting for a long time. And look at her. She's adorable. Human babies are gross. Animal babies are fucking amazing. Don't get them. Yeah, be kid. <laughs> yeah. I assume mom and dad. Eliza. Okay, so these are the same animals from the demo, I think. But the demo... Not the demo. The, um... Exclusive streams that were done at, uh... I want to say PAX. Don't quote me. I think this is the same zoo, because I remember Eliza from that. So, um, have you seen those? Same zoo, but it wasn't structured. Oh, cool! Okay, so I saw this before. They got tinted glass. And it actually is tinted. So you can give the animals privacy. And then, like, actually view them on one side. That is nice. That is a nice feature. Um, 
Locate the empty habitat. Uh, by the way, they have announced, like, the size of the zoos. Whoa. They've announced the sizes of the zoos and, um... Ooh. Um... They, uh, I forgot what it was exactly, but someone immediately started, like, comparing the sizes to real-life zoos. And it's bigger than most real-life zoos. Not as big as the ones, like, here. Um, my best local zoo is the Fort Worth Zoo. There's the Dallas Zoo as well, but outside of birds, they're not particularly... Like, it's good, it's just not as good as the Fort Worth Zoo, outside of birds. Um... So, uh, I think it's slightly bigger than the size. Don't quote me on that. And the Toronto Zoo, and those zoos that are, like, 50% big fields for the animals, those are a bit too big for the size. Want it? Oh, puppies! <gasps> puppy, puppy, puppy! <gasps> Look at you, you're so cool! I love wolves. I'm sorry, I love wolves to death. <gasps> Look at you! Anyway, um... Shit, I have so many thoughts going on in my head. I am just... I'm not blue screening. It's the opposite of blue screening. Fangirling. That's it. I do it so rarely. Um, look at empty habitat. That's right. Uh, this one. This one here. As you can see, it's a lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. <laughs> well, two somethings. <laughs> the warthogs. <laughs> So I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to... They do have red pandas. They have announced and shown images of the red pandas. Um, I don't think they're in the beta. Um, but they have confirmed red pandas. And, uh, there are pictures and stuff. Um, if you remind me on Discord, I will send them to you or post them on my, uh, Discord for you guys. Oh, there's like a thing right here. Sinnoh's in the way. Sinnoh! <laughs> Um, uh, but yes, uh, Red Pandas, 100% confirmed, and with pictures, so. Use the animal trading menu to adopt Warhawks. Okay, so this is a fun little thing. I don't think they'll show it here. There we are. Because this is a tutorial. For our zoo. Just click on them and select yeah. Them from the side menu. But Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market. Hello? Can you all hear me? Oh fuck. Huh? Oh. Hello? Hello? Can y'all hear me at all? Y'all there? Hello? Okay, um, I guess everyone left. Hello? Can you hear me? Everything back? Everything back? Yes, I think so, yes. Uh, please refresh your browser. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we lost internet. I am back. We're all back. Um, we had a hard storm just now, so 
something probably got hit. I don't know. My Wi-Fi gave up, though. All of it gave up, so. So yeah, here we are, back here! Internet! Yes! And my cat is breaking down my door again. One second. Alright, sorry about that. As I mentioned earlier, she can break down my door. Even though she's so tiny. So, uh, we're still doing the tutorial. Ooh, I love this pond. Look at that water. <gasps> anyway, um... And I was just exploding from absolute joy at this game. Because this is the game I've been waiting 15 fucking years for. So, um... Guess we're adding more hogs, I guess? Uh... Oh yeah, um, as I was saying, you get to adopt uh, animals from this list, and you can put animals up for adoption, and purchase animals and all that stuff, and other people can see your animals. So, let's say you breed a warthog, name him Bob. If you sell him, someone else can purchase Bob. A real person. So... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that seems to be a ca one of the major glitches with the franchise mode is that nothing's coming up because they're trying to connect to the server and can't. We'll see if we have that problem. I hope it's fixed. Um, never, re never really played a tycoon game. Oh, oh shit, man, you're missing out. <laughs> I'm having trouble breathing because I, I when I when I geek out and have all the joy. I forget to breathe. Like, that's a thing with me. So if you hear me out of breath, that's just me like, Oh fuck, you forgot to breathe! <laughs> just so you know, you no longer need to refresh your Twitch to update. It should do so automatically. Refreshing is just faster. Huh. Well, I, I say refresh so that even if I leave and come back immediately, there's no... It would help with the buffering. Oh, that's usually anxiety for me. <laughs> If I can't turn on entire zoo into one massive red panda clutch, I'm throwing a fit. You can! There are red pandas! In fact, I don't... Is there red pandas in the thing? In the beta? I don't think they're in the beta. Yeah, I downloaded some blueprints because I got really impatient with myself earlier today. Um... Let's see here. Zoo? Can I, can I see the animals on our list? Ah, uh, maybe later. But, uh, there are limited animals. Like, there's no pony hippos or anything like that. I think there's normal hippos, though. Um, the breathing thing. Make the zoo a red panda shape? You totally can. No, I meant, like, turning the zoo into one big enclosure. I don't know if you can do, like... I know what you're talking about. I did it all the time in Zoo Tycoon, too, where you just... Build one big fence so the game calms down, and then you just make it one big wildlife park. Um, I could try to do that today. Uh, there's franchise mode, and there there's going to be money limitations, but we can try to do a wildlife park kind of thing with that. Just remind me later if you're still on. Um, I should actually do the game now. I'm sorry, I'm just like... Remember to breathe, Bex. You're you're just geeking out and having so much fun with the concept and not even doing anything. Oh yeah, because as I said earlier, I'm super big on breeding. There is stats you can breed for. You can make like the biggest of the warthogs or the tiniest of the warthogs. You can make them fertile through breeding. You can make them live longer through breeding, so on and so forth. There is inbreeding that negatively affects you though. So they you have to think ahead. And I'm, like, really excited for that. <laughs> hey, hey, Vex, breathe. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just warning you guys, because I'm going to be, like, cutting off mid-sentence and exhaling heavily into the microphone, because I'm just like... Ee! <laughs> nice, fuck statistics. 
I mean, yeah, if you want to put it that way. There's also going to be physical differences. Uh, we already saw the bears, one of which is lighter than the other. That's actually what I'm more interested in, and some of it's computer-generated, like stripes and shit. And I wonder what I can get the computer to make me through breeding. I want to be experimenting. Let's just put it like that. And I appear to be the only one super into the breeding aspects. I don't know why, but genetics as a concept has always been, like, my thing. Can we just make the worst Philly <laughs> genome? I think you can. I don't know the details or if it's in the beta, but they have said to avoid inbreeding because bad shit happens. So let's actually adopt our dear warthogs. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in a trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Which Gene Simmons. You are. So how about you move them into their new home? Uh... Okay, no, it's still got this. Open the trade center. Or okay, so these are the ones we have in hold. Cool, cool, cool. Send to zoo. Here? And the zoo here. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretaker will go to the trade center. Collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Ooh, where? Oh, here we go. And because this is a modern game, it might stutter if I move too quickly, because, you know, new. Don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up. <gasps> so so cute. Them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Now here's a question. I thought warthogs Let's were part of the deluxe edition sure thing, but this is the first... To do this, we'll need to place a food oh, well. station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Uh, I want to get warthog tusk onto a parakeet. <laughs> $69. Nice. This game makes me think of Lion King and Madagascar at the same time. Well, gee, maybe it's because animals in zoo and warthog and uh, uh, someone give Uchawa a hug for me. <laughs> it's the beta. They, they might be taken out later. That's true, but this... Okay, so since this is the first mission and it's in mission mode or whatever they call it, career, I think... I think they might just be like, fuck it, you get all the animals in career only. But that's weird because you can continue keeping this zoo if you want afterwards. So maybe, you're right, maybe they'll replace it with a different animal in the, del in the later. Uh, take them out. <laughs> take them out! <laughs> uh, add feeding station. Food trough, small. Uh, rotate. Z? <gasps> Z! Shift? Yes! <laughs> just, just put everything floating. It'll be amazing. Uh. Boop. And then, uh. Feed station, so... Wait, we'll want them... Ah, oh, crap, I put it in the wrong spot. We want it near the thing. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. 
Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Okay, they said in... Okay, so unlike Zoo Tycoon, there's more than one enri a, uh, enrichment thing you gotta watch for. And... They said that every once in a while, your animals would get bored with the enrichments they have, so you need to change them to something else, which I think is brilliant, brilliantly realistic. <laughs> ah, the Z axis. You mean the Z axis, bitch! Sorry. <laughs> welcome, Fran. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What a thing to walk in on. Uh, mud bath. Oh yeah, perfect for our boys. Just kind of put that right. Ooh, yeah. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a shadow state. Unfinished thingamajigs and wattics all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Over near the hippos. By the way, so in case you don't want your animals to breed, you got a contraceptive, and using that, you can turn it on and off. So it's not like, uh, I think Wildlife Park made it where it was like a permanent castration thing. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I have internet again so Bex can call me a bitch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know I don't mean it that way. I'm sorry if, if I offend you guys. It seems to be, uh, Z literally everywhere outside the U.S. Yeah, forget that shit. I'm calling it Z. And by the way, it's called Z because of poor education in early America, which is actually the source of a lot of differences between American way and everyone else way. But you know what the rest of the world does that British land doesn't do? Fucking stay on the right side of the road! You know what other people do that America don't? Maternity leave. Get on it, America. I want to move to Canada. I don't know how to read Celsius. Okay, so, uh, weirdo rant over. Meanwhile, I prefer to call things by non-American things just for fun. Uh, I really don't care. As, like, I fully admit that I need to learn Celsius and uh, the metric system and shit. Not the British system, whatever the fuck they use. The actual metric system. Uh, especially if I do make it to Canada. Which I would like to one day. Okay, the highlighted area. Highlighted- there's highlighted. Yeah, the Celsius thing is gonna suck. <laughs> okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Don't tell me what to do, lady! <laughs> we got habitat gate. Cool. Look at that Z fighting. Outside placement area. Oh, I forgot my controls already. Ah, oh, okay. Complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Ah, uh -huh. oh, that is nice. Oh, so nice. Um, I plan on moving to Canada at some point in my life. I do too. I just know it's dead if it's. If it's a hundred or zero C, that's about it. Yeah, same here. First off, I know that body temperature is in the mid thirties normally. I think it's thirty six or something like that. But I learned that from like shows where they're like, "Oh my god, their body temperature is thirty six degrees or whatever. They got a fever or something." And I'm like, "That person's dead." This is the same temperature as the zombies from uh, what's it called uh. Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> and it's like, oh, Celsius, shit. Let's talk about Kelvin, yeah? I would love to switch to Kelvin, but it is very impractical in normal use. Oh, I fucked that up. Uh... I just... Good yes! Remember, 
before you can place animals in any habitat, it has I'm bloke to that man is. <laughs> Kelvin who? Kelvin Klein. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. <laughs> okay. I don't know why stepladders are banned, but okay. Um... There we go. Ooh. Having in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. Can I not change more? It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. <laughs> the last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. <laughs> Donation boxes uh, is one of those things I see in zoo games all the time, but I've never seen in real life. All right. You like they have adopt the animal the stuff, time. but they Adopted don't. Ostriches, don't you think? But they don't you tend to just straight up have a box. At least in my experience. I don't go- I haven't gone to many zoos, to be fair. Uh, barriers. I want to change this one. Eight barriers. Can I really not change more to glass? Literally just the one glass? Okay, sure. Uh, Kelvin Klein need to return some things to him. <laughs> Have a whole bunch of underwear with his thing <laughs> in my house. That's good. Only met him once. It was a brief encounter. Oh, God. I've seen them once or twice. Donation boxes are quite uncommon at zoos. I think, at least here in the States, it's seen as begging. And if you know anything about American culture, you know we, that most Americans hate begging. Um, I do not think it's above me. <laughs> uh, animal training. Let's get ourselves some ostriches. Ooh, look at that. Gold. I don't know what that means, but it's gold. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. So, wait. Oh, okay. So, it's like general stat numbers. I see. Well, let's, let's adopt beauty here. Do we got a male? Here we go. Send a zoo. Put you here. And... Do put you here. I'm an American and I hate that mindset. Look, I'm not saying it's a good mindset, and I'm, I personally don't have it, but it's just, like... Nature of things. That was interesting. Objectives. Uh... Oh, I'm supposed to get all four of the ostriches. Okay. Uh, I thought we'd just pick and choose. And then... You two. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Uh... They say that, but they only let me put one fucking fence. <laughs> Slow feeder? What does that mean? Is that there? Water trough. E? E. Yeah. Okay, I did a thing! Hmm. Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> Can I please give him more Bernie fence? Seems impressed. Did he do a speed camera joke? 
every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed next to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Come on, internet, can you not fuck up? Please, internet? Please? Stop dropping frames, please. Ah, oh, shit. Um, no, I wasn't calling you out, I was just saying, oh, if I sounded offended, I was not, I assure you. Look how tiny... Look how huge this male is! I just realized that it's not that the female's tiny, it's that the male is fucking huge! Fucking hell, mate! Game? Game? Okay, don't do that to me, game. I mean, clearly the slow feeder will help keep animals from eating too fast. I think it's an enrichment kind of thing. Facilities. Uh... Staff facility. Keeper hut. I probably downloaded this. <laughs> and then where does it want it? Right here. Boop. How, this how cute. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper. But the larger keeper hut can allow multiple <gasps> keepers to prepare food at the same time. Look how cool this is. But bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. That's stupid. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. That's stupid. I love Something seeing behind the scenes stuff. A host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? You use a slow feeder with a dog to prevent bloat. Huh. Wow, the attention to detail is impressive. Oh, yeah. from I saw this in, like, the preview stuff. This is, um, like, really cool. I can't wait to catch a uh, zookeeper doing it. Look, there's even, like, a baby bottle. There's meat. There's a little whatever the fuck that is. What is that? No, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> what is that? That, like, fruit or something? Whoopee cushion. <laughs> Mini fridge? Yeah, man. Banana seeds? I really hope they have animations. There's the same thing again. I really hope they have animation. Maybe they're gloves. I really hope they have animations that reflect what kind of food they're making. Oh, the purple thing. <laughs> right next to the machine that goes ding. What am I grabbing? Uh... Power station. Uh. Utilities, here we go. Transformer. Now, oh, geez. Blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Huh. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Cool. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal Tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Best boy. Uh, fun fact, my grandfather, my biological grandfather, not emotional grandfather, from my mom's side, um, he raised ostriches. He bought into that whole ostrich farm fad that happened for a while. I never... If I saw the ostriches, I don't remember them. I would have been way too young. Uh, he he and his, my mother were not on good terms, though. So, eh. Who wants a bit that none of it is animated? Oh no! 
Oh, don't say that. I want I want the zookeepers to be like all animated and stuff. Cool. Okay. So I want to see if there's any physical differences between the ostriches that we can see like readily. Like we got a bunch of females, so now's the time to look, I think. I don't know. I should do that off screen actually. I doubt you guys want to stare at the ostriches doing nothing but like is that a slightly lighter shade of brown? <laughs> um let's see here. Locate the highlighted area. Okay, highlighted area. There we go. Here I see your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. Like <gasps> in concrete I expect. <laughs> So choo choo! And don't forget the habitat gate. It's always best to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. Choo choo! Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. I. Wait, 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 before we do anything with the fucking tigers. Where, where is it? Where are they? There, you, there they are. Damn it, come on. No! Are you serious? It just doesn't want me to be able to put glass. God. Okay, fine. Plays Final Fantasy XIV notices how many NPCs have jobs. The NPCs in the cooking skill building use cooking equipment. Bowls have nothing in them, so they're making air cakes. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. Here we go. I guess we want to... This way. Nice. Look how smooth it is. Maybe kind of like, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Slightly wavy, but, you know, that's because I'm placing it. Oh, damn it. Uh, here. Eh. No! Shit. Can I, can I get it straight? No, you're not gonna... Fine, uh, how do I? There we go. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I? Uh, no. Uh, delete button. Yes, delete button works. <laughs> Alright, figuring this out as we go along. Um,. That longer. Now let me get shorter. Shorter. Boop. No, nope. shorter. There we go. There we go. Noise. And then... Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I want it. Switch. To the concrete. As we go through the rocks. Or on the rocks. Whatever. We do the rock thing. Pull that back a bit. 
Noise. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. These controls are amazing. There we go. <laughs> That's how you do a fence back style, ruining everything. Make it taller? Like, how do I? No, uh, how do I make it taller? Hmm. Critical? No. If? No. I did not mean to do that. It actually looks better, though. <laughs> uh. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, here we go. Oh, nope, okay. So I think this selects it. Here we go. Select the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. And now... Ah, oh, yeah, how... Did it say how tall? Four meters. Gotta get... Yeah. Four meters so they can't jump the fuck out. Alright, and then... Let's see here. We're going to... Add a habitat gate. Okay. Habitat gate! Put it... Oh, jeez. Uh... Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Great, now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Already ahead of you, lady. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a minimum height of 4 meters. I already did it! <laughs> Habitat gate, send your back. I did! The boundary is... Look, lady, it's already 4 meters. It's 4 meters... 4.11 meters. That's... Yeah. There. Uh. What am I missing here? No, seriously, what? Game. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Uh... Game? Okay. Adopted the tigers! Damn it. Planet Bex! Hey, Spooky Trevor! Someone already beat you to that joke! We're adopting tigers! We're getting the kitties! <laughs> oh, this is a, uh, perfect female. Well, not perfect. Holy shit, 100% fertility. Can we get some babies up in here? Uh, from what I gather, there is, like, a full quarantine system. And if you don't abide by it, you can get your animals sick, but because this is a tutorial. Let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Uh, food tray. Um... 